Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I have quite a large haul in front of me. Um, I picked up some kind of pennies beauty bits uh, recently. I have two separate loads from two separate times I was there. So what I'm going to do is show you what I picked up and then I'm going to try out some things on the face. Now there are duplicates of certain things so I might not be able to use every single thing so what I'll do is whatever I don't get to use I'll use probably in a video or a post on Instagram so I'll just insert that down here down below if you want to follow me in there I'd be happy to have you on there. So first of all I picked up these. I always pick up these wipes. These are the H2O micellar wipes. I already have an almost empty pack here. I've went through quite a few of these. They're just really handy. Don't dry your skin. I use those for kind of when doing swatches and that kind of thing. I would use them just to take off makeup from my hands or my arms or whatever. And then I also picked up this. I thought this was so handy. It is a lash case. So rather than keeping your lashes in their original kind of plastic containers, you can put them in this. So you have a nice mirror, which is nice as well to have, and then you can have, you have space for three lashes in that. So that was, I think, a nice thing to pick up. Um, and then I picked up this. This is the PS Gold Rush eyeshadow palette. I've heard many people speaking about this on Instagram. I just wanted to try it out. It's got lovely gold packaging, and you have the shades in there. So I might try you some of those today. And then I have the Desert Queen eyeshadow palette, which looks way more expensive than it is. Nice big mirror. And then you have those shades there. Really interesting colour story there. Definitely going to be using that today. Next, um, I got the PS Summer Blur Soft Focus Blur Primer. This to me looks like a dupe for the YSL, um, you know, the kind of gold primer. So I want to try to use that today. And then the PS Prep and Perfect Primer Water. So you can use this to prep the skin for application or you can use it to set your face. Next we have um, a couple of foundations. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Double Coverage Matte Foundation. This is said to be a dupe for Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, which I don't have, but I have had it used on me before by a professional makeup artist. So I'll be interested to see how this wears. And then also the PS My Perfect Colour Glow Foundation, which to me looks like um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, and that's just the packaging. I don't know if they've done that purposely. And then there's a new shade in the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage uh, Foundation. So I picked up that new shade. The one I got recently is a bit too dark, so I use that when I have tan on and this one I don't. This is in the shade 002 Porcelain Beige. Next I have the PS Define Brow Gel in the shade Light Brown. Hopefully this will work for me. It'll probably be a bit too pale, but we'll make it work. Then I picked up my favourite lash glue, Geo Glue. I always have one or two of these. Then I picked up the Alex Steiner um, Sleep Spa Overnight Lip Mask. That's from her collection that launched recently in Pennies. Um, I have been trialling this out, so I'll let you know how I get on with it. I have it on my lips at the moment, actually. Then I got the P.S. Island Escape Lip Glosses. These are in the shade Half Past Nude and Take Me to Paradise. They look, again, like something you would pick up from a way more expensive brand. So I'm very excited to use those. Um, I've had really good experiences with the uh, Penny's brushes in the past. I picked up a few more. I picked up the Foundation Blending Brush. This has got a really interesting, if you can see that kind of shape, them, like a, almost like a diamond kind of shape. Um, I'd be really interested to see if this is any good for buffing in foundation. And then Penny's also have a few new mascaras. So I got the Fake It False Lash Effect Mascara. Um, this definitely looks like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So we'll see. And then also I got the Smoky Lash Mascara. 
So I might use one on one eye and one on the other, or else I'll use one and then use the other one in a Instagram video. Then I got the PS Ultra Glow Highlighter Powder in Brunch Club. I've heard great things about this highlighter. Um, it's coming up very silver on the screen there, but it's actually more kind of like champagne-y kind of colour in person. And then I got the PS Blush High Pigment Blusher in So Peachy. I thought this looked like a beautiful colour. Again, you have that kind of groove design in there. I also got the e.l.f. kind of brow gel and powder duo in the shade medium. Now I have actually, you'll see, I have, I have actually used this. You can see quite a bit. This is really, really good. Nice handy mirror there. And um, this is all I've been using in the past week or two for my brows. This gel is so good. And then I put a bit of the powder where I want it to be a bit lighter. But it holds them in place, sets them down. Easy to use, nice and creamy. Um, another brilliant product from e.l.f. I've made no secret of the fact that I love them. It also comes with this little brush here, um, but I don't really use that. It's probably good for on the go, but I use my own brush. I actually use a double-sided pennies brush that I've had for like a couple of years, and I find that really good. So then that was the kind of first haul, and then the second one I got, I was in yesterday. Um, I picked up two of the B Tan products. This is a new Australian tanning brand that is just launched into pennies. Um, so I want to give it a go. I got the Tan Go Away Tan Eraser and then I got the Tanned AF um, Mousse. Yeah, it's a mousse. So I'm going to try that and let you know how I, let you know how I get on with it. <clears throat> then I got the PS Prep and Perfect Daily Detox Primer Oil Free and Smoothing Pollution Protection. This reminds me of... I can't remember what it is. Is it Urban Decay or Becca or something? The packaging. They also had a illuminating one. Um, but I already have that other primer which is supposed to be illuminating. So I thought I would maybe try to use this on the T-zone. And then I thought this looked so interesting. I'll definitely put this on the body whenever I use tan. This is the PS Nudes Glow Illuminating Body Glow. When I tried the, the tester in this, it looked really, really nice and smells amazing. Um, it looks very similar to the new body shimmers that Huda Beauty has just come out with. So I will definitely be using that whenever I have tan. Then also in the nudes collection I got two makeup blenders. These are supposed to be really good. They feel kind of, they feel quite firm so we'll see what they're like once they're wet. Then I got the PS Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunset. This is supposed to be a dupe for MAC Give Me Sun, which I have. Um, I might not do a comparison of that in this particular video, but I will do it at some point, definitely. I got the Liquid Concealer Medium Coverage from the My Perfect Colour range. I got that in the shade Ivory. I wanted to get this in the shade Porcelain because I got the foundations in the shade Ivory, and typically I like a lighter shade under my eye, but this is the only shade I was able to get. So I will try and make it work. Next, I got the PS Brow Pencil. This is a double-ended double brow pencil. Your spoolie on one end and then your pencil on the other. I actually thought that was a retractable pencil and it is not. It is a normal pencil. I haven't used a pencil in a very long time. So we'll see how I get on with that. Um, I got the Tapered Blush Brush. As I said, I love Penny's brushes. I have a load of them already. I'll probably use quite a few of them today. I just thought the shape on this was really nice and it feels lovely and soft. Um, I got the Nudes um, kind of trio here in the shade Tease. I actually thought I was getting a matte liquid lipstick and it turns out it's a gloss, but it's fine. So it comes in this kind of cute packaging. You have a sharper there and a pencil and a lip gloss. Um, they look very similar to the packaging of the KKW products, I thought. And then there's a new brand uh, that is launched into pennies called, I think it's pronounced Trina, I'm not too sure. I have actually been following these guys on Instagram for a long time, I know of them. They're based in, oh, I think they're from Spain, but I know they have them in the UK. Um, and then I found out this week they were launching into pennies, which was really exciting to hear. So I picked up just three bits because I want, I already have so much other stuff here I want to try. I got the um, highlighter stick 
which to me looks like the Nabla, Nabla have a beautiful highlighter stick that's supposed to be really, really good. I think it's, the shade is called Mirage, but it's um, sold out constantly on um, Beauty Bay. So then when I swatched this one, I thought it looked quite similar. Nice thick, chunky stick there. I don't typically use stick highlighters, but I thought this was very soft when I swatched it. So hoping it'll work. Oh, and it has a nice close, it has a nice close there like that. Um, also from that brand. So this is, um, these products are in collaboration with the brand. I should have said that. This is the Defini Definition Mascara. They have a volume one as well, but I liked the look of the brush on this one. Kind of a rubber bristly brush there. Looks kind of like a comb, so should be lengthening. Uh, should be good for separating the lashes as well. And then I got a cream eyeshadow. They had these beautiful shades. They had a, a bright blue one, but I just kind of wanted one that I'd probably use in the center of the lid as um, kind of a, a topper or else as kind of like a spotlight kind of eye. So I got this one. This is in the shade 323. How satisfying is that? Like, look, you can see the little pot there. It's beautiful. Um, it's kind of like a pinky champagne shade. Again, it looks more silver in the camera, but it's not. It's kind of like a pale champagne kind of pink. And that is everything. Oh, the other thing is I picked up some storage, some storage bits. Like I picked up, they have great palette holders in there. So I have like three or four of those now. They're already in my drawer, so I'm gonna leave them be. So the next thing to do is to start putting it on the face. So I'm going to clip back my hair. Okay, I've just zoomed you in a little bit. So this is the sponge dampened. It didn't expand really at all. So that's what we're working with. So I'm going to start with primer. So I'm going to use the Daily Detox primer first. And I'm going to give it a shake and I'm going to put this on my T-zone. Okay, that's... Oh, it smells... Smells lovely, smells like watermelon kind of. Smells really fresh, it's quite tacky. So I'm just going to press that into the skin around the nose. Oh, smells divine. I have very high hopes for these products because I think Penny's has been killing it recently. My little top is from Penny's, but in particular, their um, beauty line has just gotten, I think, better and better and better. So next we have the Summer Blur Soft Focus Blur Primer. This has all these sort of gold reflex in them. So, smells like coconut. Oh, feels like, almost like Vaseline kind of. If you hear any noise, by the way, I apologize. There are a lot of people in my house at the moment. Okay. There is some glitter on my face. <laughs> um, I don't really want glitter on my face so much as I want it to moisturize my skin. So I think the foundation I'm going to use is the glow one really interested in this. This is in the shade Ivory. It has that kind of um, drop applicator. So I'm going to use a sponge on this side and a brush on this side. Wow, you can see there the glow on my skin. Wow. That's giving good coverage. Not full, but definitely a high medium coverage. Pressed with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side with uh, that brush. Which is just here, with the really interesting kind of diamond shape. Now, I typically don't 
use brushes anymore for foundation application. I tend to prefer using a sponge just because I find, you know, a sponge doesn't leave brush strokes on your face and it really melts and presses the product into the skin. But I want to try this brush. Okay, well that's blended that in in like two seconds. Wow, that foundation's really nice. So I'd say there's probably a bit more coverage on this side. Which typically happens with a brush because a sponge will um, always absorb some of the product. Now you can really see the shine off the foundation in the screen there. Really, really nice. Wow. Next we're going to go in with the concealer. Yeah, definitely not um, as bright as I would normally use under the eyes. Okay, that's covered up quite well, you can see there. So I'm just dipping into that PS Bronze Glow Powder. It looks quite dark on in the pan, but I don't think it's um, too dark on the face. It's blended out nicely enough. There's a part in the middle here that isn't very... isn't very even, but you can only really see it up close. There isn't too much fallout with this. Doesn't matter to me too much, but some people don't like it. A little bit of powder, but really quite minimal. Do you like my lights, by the way? They're new. I think that looks really nice. Like, I'd have to turn down the light for you to see it properly. You can kind of see it there better. Okay, next is blusher. This is the PS blush, high pigment blusher in So Peachy. I said earlier. So for this, I'm going to use my new tempered blush brush. Oh, this looks lovely, it's very soft. Oh yeah, I was afraid that was going to come out orange on my skin, but it hasn't. It is definitely a coral kind of colour. I really like it. So I'm going to use the primer water. Now I also have another setting spray from Penny's, the Hydrate one. It's in the green bottle that I've spoken about before on my Instagram. I want to try this one. So the spray. Oh yeah, it smells. It's got a light enough scent. Spraying it is nice. Oh, the mist is really fine. It's lovely. I'm going to use this Aweeva. 134 Lux Powder Fusion Brush. And for my highlight, I'm using the PS Ultra Glow Highlighting Powder in a Brunch Club. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> That is intense. I didn't even use that much. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is a beautiful highlighter. Wow. It's just really flattering, I think. I am honestly so impressed so far with this makeup. Wow. Penny's killing it. 
Um, I think I will do my eyes before I do my brows. Okay, so we'll start off with the Desert Queen eyeshadow palette, I think. So I'm going to start off with this light brown, just here. Gonna deepen that up now with this kind of more ready brown just here. almost blended itself. Wow. Minimal fallout. High pigment. Jesus pennies. I really like this one. That cool toned kind of silvery one there. It's not silver, it's hard to explain. It's like a pur purpley brown kind of shade i think i might use that kind of halfway through and then use a lighter one the inner kind of corner okay it has come off on the brush there you can see the kind of shade i'm talking about now Wow, that's dry and that has worked quite well. But I just want to see, does it become more intense when it is dampened? So I'm going to dip back in there and I'm going to use the primer water just to... Yeah, that's made it almost like metallic. Oh, this is duochrome. It looks different in different lights. It looks kind of purple when I turn my head here and then brownie and others might just use these two light colors here i wonder if i try that applicator i know we generally laugh at these but i think they can be used almost similar to the way we use those flat synthetic brushes i think they could be handy to put on some of those shimmers so i might actually just try it to be honest oh yeah there you go that worked no bother i'll probably wet it though now we're going to do the brows. So I have the brow pencil. So, okay. Ooh. That feels, that feels like a gel. See that there? It feels very gel-like. It doesn't feel like a typical doesn't feel like a typical pencil at all. Honestly, that feels like a gel. And it's almost performing like one because I can move it around. Colour is nice. It's cut, it's a bit more red than I would like, but I'm sure I can make it work with um, the gel on top. I'm going to use the PS Define Brow Gel now. This is in the shade Light Brown. I like the look of this because it looks quite cool toned. It's got a little, tiny little spoolie on it there, which I appreciate. Now I haven't even had to dip back in because there's so much product on the brush. I'd say people who like their brows, you know those kind of real bushy, combed kind of upward brow, I think 
people who do that would really like this. Now I really feel like I need something on my lips so I'm going to use the Nudes Collection lip gloss in the shade Tease. I'm going to use that lip liner first, it's kind of like a pinky nude. Now I'm going to use the gloss, which I thought was a matte liquid lipstick, and it is not. Oh, that smells really nice. Smells like caramel. So now I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to use the Fake It mascara, so it's got that kind of hourglass shape brush. That's one layer. So that's with two layers of mascara on and another layer of the lip gloss. I didn't have to add any, I just wanted to. Mascara is really nice and lengthening, also gives a good bit of volume, doesn't make them clumpy. Really, really like that formula. Um, I'm going to set my face just to finish off. Mm -mm, it smells so good. So I'm really happy with this. I think the foundation is beautiful. Bronzer blush highlight, really like them. I will update you and let you know how this all wears, particularly the foundation. I will probably leave a pinned comment down in the comment section below so you can have a look there if you want to find out how the foundation wore. Did it break down or did it hold up for a long time? The product I probably don't Love is maybe the brow pencil. Um, it was a little bit patchy, a little bit hard to work with just because it was a gel and I wasn't expecting it to be a gel in a pencil. Um, but saying that, will I use it again? Yeah, I will. So it's, it's really not that bad. I just have to work with it a bit more. So obviously I didn't, I didn't get to use everything here. There's, you know, there's another foundation, there's lip glosses and the mascara. Um, another eyeshadow palette, um, these bits from Trina. So what I will do is I will either do another video on these if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know. You can comment down below and let me know if there's enough interest in it. I will of course do it, no problem. Um, if not, I will just do it over on my Instagram. So I'll just put that down below if you want to follow me. It'd be really nice to have you on there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe it would really help me out i would love to see you back here and um, if you like the video you can give it a like down below or leave a comment if you have any questions or inquiries or any recommendations or anything like that and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time